Hi guys, welcome to today's new video. I'm here in Walgreens, and this is part two of how to grow your hair in series. So now it's Walgreens, so let's go inside. Guys, so I'm here in the cream section, and this is Nivea cream. I know you guys probably think this is only for the body, but I've actually made videos about how you can use it on your hair. This cream is $9.29, and of course it's multi-purpose, but I love to use it to moisturize the ends of my hair, and it works really well. I'm here at the grocery section of Walgreens, and I found some pure honey. Honey is actually really good for your hair in small quantities. I know there's a myth that it makes your hair white. First of all, it's a lie, but if you're scared, you don't have to apply honey just straight to your hair. You can just mix it with different hair masks. I have a bunch of videos explaining how I use it and what quantities. So yeah, honey and it here it cost $4.99. Another product that I really like to use is actually apple cider vinegar and I found a really nice big bottle here for only $3.29 and apple cider vinegar is really good to cleanse your scalp and also to apply it in different hair masks. I apply it in small quantities so yeah if you guys need a deep cleaning of your scalp, apple cider vinegar is the way to go. If you want to apply hair oil, Walgreens actually has argan oil off Morocco. This bottle is $11.99 and it lasts you a long time, so it's not really that expensive. Of course, you can always make your own, but if you want something quick, it's here in Walgreens. If you guys are looking for a dry shampoo, look no further than Eva in New York City. I think that's how you say it, Eva Nick. I'm not sure, <laughs> but this is how I read it as. And it's actually a dry shampoo that doesn't damage your hair. There's a lot of dry shampoos in the market that have this like really harmful component and it's not really good in the long run. This one doesn't do that. And it is a little bit on the pricier side, but then again, you are paying for the health of your hair. If you guys have more of a budget, then it's a 10. It's a very good option for shampoo, but I've personally used the live-in conditioner and it has worked really well for me. Of course, it doesn't last very long as I have so much hair, so it is more expensive, but then again, it's also a good option. Guys, I just found some products inside boxes, so they need higher security, and this is Olaplex. I think we all know why these are in boxes. And if you don't, of course it's pricier, but it's pricier for a reason. It's actually a really, really good hair care brand. Uh, works for all kinds of hair. And like I said, if you're not in a budget, then Olaplex is a good option. And you can find it here in Walgreens. I don't know if you guys remember when Miel was all the rage. It kind of has dwindled down, but it still is a good option if you're looking for hair oil, especially if you have curlier hair. They have here the Rosemary Mint. They also have rice water. I have not used this one, but I have used the Rosemary, so I can't actually recommend. But I can recommend this one. <laughs> I, can <laughs> I can recommend this one, but I actually stopped using it because it would like drip down my face and it was like making me break out a little bit because it is on the heavier side. So I would mix with maybe a lighter oil but this is a good choice. If you guys are looking for free of sulfates and paraben shampoo and conditioner, Raw Sugar is actually a really good brand. It's not that expensive as you guys can see. It's actually quite the big bottle. Um, so yeah, there's all these options depending on what you guys are looking for. This is for lifeless hair, damaged hair, curly hair. It's just to soothe and moisturize, replenish. So yeah, raw and sugar is definitely a good option that you can find here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see any more, if you have any stores that you want me to go to, let me know in the comments. Bye. Guys, I actually have most of these products, so I didn't buy them, but I did buy hot Cheetos and hot fries. They don't sell either of these things in my country. So let's try them. I've tried the normal Hot Cheetos, but never the X extra. 
So I'm kind of nervous. I used to be a hot Cheeto girl, so I'm afraid I'm gonna go back to that, but hopefully not. Probably the best thing I've ever had. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try the hot fries. Oh my god. Mm. 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 These are amazing. Let's try them together. Whoa. Guys, don't skip out on these ones. 